Okay, here I am with Ricky Delgado, and he's an investor and also a flipper and works with a lot of real estate people around town doing things, and he just got done telling me that he's got five closings in the month, this month, right? This week. This week. Yeah. Okay, so this week. So market is actually moving along. So tell me, what is, what's, what's happening in your market? What are you seeing? I'm seeing it's still active. It's still very much uh, a challenge. To find to find to find the good deals, but they're still out there. Mm -hmm. um, I see the tri cities are especially in the come up. Okay. Uh, so you mean by tri cities, you mean Richmond, Colonial Heights, Petersburg? The tri cities is uh, Colonial Heights, Hopewell, and so Petersburg. Hopewell. Okay, Hopewell and Petersburg. Especially Hopewell. Okay. And 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 P Petersburg has been hot, but but now Hopewell is getting there too. So what are you attention. seeing in those areas? Who are, who is the demographic that's going to that area? What are you seeing? Everyone, any anyone that can afford, you know, um, there yeah. there's a lot. I've been working with a lot of cash buyers. Okay. In the in the lower price points, uh, and and in the lower hundreds. Okay. Now these cash buyers, what are they? Are they investors? Are they owner occupants? Or what are you looking at there? Actually. Actually, both, but, but mainly investors. Investors, okay. Uh, so investors are hot in the, that area. Yeah. Are they seeing a resurgence in that area? Is that kind of why you're thinking that's, that's what's happening? Yeah, definitely a resurgence uh, and, even, and even a renaissance in... in, in um, so. Renaissance, that's a, that's a pretty... <laughs> for us in real estate, that's a really big word, just to let you know, renaissance. In, in, okay. uh, in Hopewell, yeah. In Hopewell, okay. Mm -hmm. Hopewell's getting a lot of attention, a lot of investors buying and holding over there now. And, and, um, so what's crazy about that is I remember serving down in Hopewell not too long ago, actually probably 2014, 15, and you could buy almost an entire block for 100,000. Yeah. And so now you're saying that the investors going down there, they're rebuilding these homes and flipping them? Is that what's going on? Uh, it, a lot of, yeah. I have a lot of clients that are uh, snatching houses in, in Petersburg and, and flipping them. Okay. And they're selling. And, and, and Hopewell, it's, uh, I see uh, investors buying more for buying holds okay. to rent out. Okay. So then, so then obviously what we're seeing is that some of the markets that you're going to now that are more affordable, that are still driving distance to the Richmond. How far is it from Hopewell, that area up until the like, South Richmond area of Richmond? Uh, it's, it's not far, far at all. Like uh, Hopewell, you can catch Route 10 and then you're in Chester. It's right there in Chesterfield. Okay. Uh, or you can cross the river and you're in Chester, Chesterfield. Okay. And to Richmond, to South Side, it's 20, 20 minutes. Okay. All right, cool. Well, that's pretty awesome. Now, tell us one of your strategies then. What do you do as far as a strategy when it comes to buying a, an investment home? We have a lot of people ask us about investment homes all the time. What is a strategy that you've seen a lot of your investors that don't have cash? What do they use? <clears throat> uh, hard money. Okay, so a hard money lender. Okay. Uh, a, a hard money for, for, for flips. Also, if you can, if some, like, for example, I have access to hard money for for rentals that I hold, and and also uh, DSCR loans for, for buying homes. Okay, so DSCR, so you know what that is, that's a debt service coverage loan. So what that means is in essence that you're getting a loan based off of the income generated on that property. That's a really good loan, okay? Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, and rents are so high right now that um, the numbers still make sense even with the, uh, inter the higher interest rates from a DSCR loan. Okay. So you can still cash flow. Right, because that is money. alternative credit. So now you're starting to deal with some of those more alternative based programs. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he's got a, a hot deal on his phone right now coming <laughs> in. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. Is there any tips for your investors that you're working on right now? What would be one of those solid tips that you would give them? For investors? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um um call me <laughs> call you there you are there's your best solid investment tip right there call ricky all yeah. right i'll put his phone number in the line below so yeah. hope all's well thank you so much for joining us and thank uh you. we'll uh, look forward to having more people call thank you, you. chris yeah <laughs>